Okay, I'm actually running out of power and this plug isn't seem to be working so I have to hurry up and go upstairs in my bedroom and do this video. I have to do this video upstairs. Okay, it actually works right here. Okay. All right. Um. All right, great. Okay. <sighs> All right, great. So, all right. So I'm now going to read another one here. Our earliest ancestors did, and many paleoanthropists argue that the brain development that led to modern humans was promoted by the transition from a vegetarian diet to an omnivorous one. We still do eat raw meat, sashimi and sushi, herring, and many other fish products all over the world. Beef carpaccio and beef tarcher and so forth but now we have the choice of raw or cooked so yeah so um yeah so as you about to say was him saying beef is consumed raw so is steak okay in fact the very middle of steak is actually raw even though most people don't realize it even if it is a little bit undercooked it's still considered raw okay and one of the reasons why you would cook the steak instead of eating it entirely raw is because the outside of the steak would have bacteria in it, but the inside wouldn't. And the inside is actually more healthier than the outside. And actually going to hawks, hawks actually eat the inside of their prey first before eating the outside. You'll notice that. You'll notice that they'll dig into the temp center of the prey and eat all their insides before consuming the rest of the skin. And the skin actually isn't digestible anyways. They, they usually cough that up in what's called a casting. You know, all the skin, the bones, the feathers, they all get puked out, basically, out of the hawk. All right, so moving on here. Prehistoric man did indeed eat uncooked meat before fire was discovered. For, however, his gut was more adept at handling infection than our gut is today. You see, it works on nature's principle that if you don't use it, you lose it. What I mean is that if you consume food that is contaminated by germs and viruses, all a lot of you will fail ill and you will succumb to the illness. A lot of your tribe would survive and in surviving, your immune system would improve and overcome those viruses in the future. But modern man, I'm afraid, has not got the stomach of a prehistoric man anymore and he would succumb or become very ill by contaminated food very easily. Have a great day. Oh, great. So, yeah, so I could succumb to an illness if I ate a hawk's prey, possibly. Possibly. But I'm not going to say that I'm like everyone else. Because I'm not like everyone else. I'm much different from everyone else. Actually, I do have a mild case of autism, so I really am different from everyone else, just so you know. Uh, so, if you consume food that's contaminated by germs, you'll basically be able to be immune to the germs in the future. But, one person dies from it, and then the, the next person survives from it, basically. That's basically what it's saying. So in order to be immune to it, you obviously have to get sick from it, possibly die from it because you get so sick, but the immune system really racks up their potential, you know, when, uh, when you have offspring and, you know, your, your DNA gets traced to other, you know, other people that 
you know, have the same immune system you do. Says, well, it's always been possible to make fire, but I don't know how long it took people to figure it out. I'm sure they probably did eat raw meat at some point, but I don't feel there's anything wrong with us doing it either. Um, just so you know, the you know, there's there's a uh, you know, as you know, there's falconry. Falconry's been around for a very long time, for at least five thousand years. Some people think it's been around even longer than that, and I can probably roughly assume that. If you have the tools to create a harness for a bird, then you probably had the tools to make fire as well. So I would assume that fire had already been invented by then. But I probably assume that the meat that a hawk catches would be consumed raw, even though I'm probably saying something that's controversial. Anyways, um, let me keep going here. Alright, I'm going to read something else. Modern man still eats raw meat. You can eat raw meat if you want. It's I prefer to at least warm it up a little bit. Nice medium rare steak is great. Still juicy but at least cooked a little. Alright. Uh, Still trying to look here. Um, there was another one. Um, hmm. I thought I saw it here. Um, yes. Yeah, so this is another one. Yes, they did. Scientists seem to be in agreement that prehistoric humans slash humanoids ate raw meat. The meat was not hunted, but mostly scavenged from the kills of predators. Modern man still eats raw meat. Yes, um, you know, people, you know, back when they were apes, you know, they had claws, they had, you know, they had teeth, you know, really powerful teeth. And they, they, they could hunt, but most of their hunting was done by other animals. They they just were opportunistic and scavenged on those those prey items. So yeah, hawks included. So that means you know people definitely ate hawk meals you know many thousands of years ago. So I know that this isn't thousands of years ago. I know this is 2018, but uh, you know this is just something I want to do. I want to find a hawk eating live prey and then just walk up to it and enjoy its meal. But the only problem is hawks are very, very shy of people. Like you can't even get a hundred feet from one, let alone three hundred feet. I was walking near a park, actually near a lake actually, and this hawk was up on a telephone wire. Like, I was like a block away and it flew away. Just to give you an idea of how shy hawks are around my area here in New Jersey. Like, you might go down south, like maybe in Georgia where I'll be moving to, and hawks will be a lot less fearful of people because they've just learned to accept them. I mean, they, they build nests in people's backyards. And they, they just feel safe around them. Somewhat people just get mad at hawks because they kill other birds or bird feeders or whatever. And they just try to just say, shoot, shoot, or whatever. You know, I 